All right, we are recording. Um, who would like to lead us out with a prayer? You got it, Joe. All right. Okay. Our Father in heaven, thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity to come to through the technology we were able to meet and to discuss the this week's case study and and this being our last full week may we do so in understanding and help each other to understand the problems more and to help that it be to our effects uh, help us to be more effective uh, leaders in the future but for the gospel and good for all that it stands for and the principles that we can adhere to and and we say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Uh, would someone like to give a kind of brief synopsis of the, the case here with Mr. Jamie Turner? Yeah, I can do it. Um, so basically the premise of everything here is Jamie Turner. Uh, he just started working at uh, MLI uh, about six months ago. Um, he was brought on. He was pretty excited about it. Right before he took this job, he was working for um, uh, Lambo Land, I think it was. Um, and uh, essentially, he, he took this new job, but he's run into a few problems with some of his some of his peers and also with his boss um, uh, Cardulo. And at this point, he is almost deciding whether or not he wants to actually stay at the company and, uh, and what he can do to try to fix things with his boss, Cordulo, who's also the president of the company, and uh, also how to get along with his peers, including Julie Chin. Is it just me or does this one seem more complex than all of them that we've had so far? Yeah. It's kind of been a tough spot, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so some of the questions we have in the case that they kind of advise that we go over. Um, first off, like how did he get into this situation? Is it was everything uh, within his control? Are there things that were out of his control, or was it all on him? Well, I think part of it, like part of it's his control, and part of it's not. I think the Cardulo situation. I feel like that's part of who Cardulo is. He seems like just anything can just kind of blow his top a little bit. Seems a little aggressive, fast. So he can't control Cardulo. So if somebody pisses off Cardulo, you know, there's not there's not much he can do. Uh, the way he reacted to what is it Chin or Chin? Chin? Whatever it is. Yeah, Chin. Uh, his reaction to her, that's all on him. He did not have to take that route and do the whole printing off the email and go throw it or give it to her or whatever, or whatever the, the case was. That was pretty, in my in my opinion, I think that's pretty low and immature. I don't think that, that was necessary. Um, I think part of it, Chin, part of it's Cardulo. And then on the other side, like with Chin, like I kind of think Chin sees an opportunity to befriend Cardulo. So maybe if Turner gets fired or if he quits, then Chen's going to get his job. And... I think it's kind of everybody. It's not, and and people just aren't controlling themselves. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely think you're right. And I actually one of the reasons that I thought this case was very interesting is because normally we read a case, and for the most part, we're kind of on the side of the person who who it's about. Mm -hmm. But Jamie bugged me. I mean, <laughs> yeah. he, he's he's cocky. He thinks that he knows better. I mean. Like you, you could say, okay, well, maybe Cordula could be wrong, but he's also president of two different organizations within his company. He's clearly pretty good at what he's doing. He has more experience. But between that, thinking that he knows better than Cordula about everything, he steals, I mean, he stole um, one of Chin's like star employees because he was buddies with him. I mean, it was like his buddy and he just hired him on. And, and with his reaction to Chin of just like, immaturity and i don't know i one of the things i thought overall is that it doesn't matter if jamie stays or if he leaves if he doesn't change himself he's gonna have the same problem at any company he does. yeah 
That was my biggest thing. He has to, before anything else changes, and he's written, like, I don't think he's he's put things together. And they talk about how Cardulo, he just walked in, and it doesn't seem like uh, Turner has a map of ideas of what he wants to talk to or laid out. He just says, basically, like, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to verbally jump this guy. He's coming in. I'm ready. I'm going to talk to him. Like, he's already pissed. And to me, that shows, like, a lot of immaturity. Like, he has not thought this through. He hasn't talked to Cardulo about this whole situation, and already his first idea is, eh, I'm probably just going to quit. And to me, I'm like, whoa, dude, like, you should probably put some roots down and maybe change yourself. And he's already had problems in the past with other companies and other employees. So he kind of already has a crappy track record. Yeah, it seems like so many of these cases, including this one, like pride is a uh is a big element. A lot of things happening because of, of one's pride, mm -hmm. uh, which is kind of tough. And, and it's tough sometimes to walk the line of uh, maybe being knowledgeable and being uh, assertive while still being humble. I, I think sometimes that line can be confusing, but I think when, when, you're, when you're just being an outright jerk, you're clearly crossing that line, right? Yeah. So maybe I misunderstood with Cardulo. Jamie tried he tried to sit down and talk to him, and he, he sent his invitation, and then Cardulo even went ahead and took other people's uh, invitation be, a, after the fact that he asked him. So I, he clearly is trying to – clearly, from what I read, it sounds like he's trying to make some kind of – Hey, what's going on here? Because the, the communication had stopped. And then with Chin, I mean, yes, I agree. He was immature. You never, you never play the same game as the person because if you're both playing in the, in the what is it, the sandbox full of litter, you're both going to get the poo on you. And so he, 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 she was outright against him too. It's like I agree. There must be some kind of alliance between. Chin and, and Cardulo because I can't I I just got I could not figure out what was going on with the whole Cardulo. I mean, was was he being too busy? He couldn't take the time to talk with Turner, or was it Cardulo? Car, Cardulo was like, hey, this kid might do better than me, and I can't afford that because I I I'm from the old school, the old business, and some kid do better than me. I I don't like it. There's a pride there. I didn't know which way was up in this one, and so I was confused. But all I do, I am confused about: is it just Jamie, or is it both, or is it Cardulo? Because I couldn't, I didn't do very well in this one. Just so I think it's. Um, it, you're not alone, Joe. This one was a complex one. Um, I, I think in my mind. So he comes to this role with some specific reasons. He wants some, he wanted some uh, flexibility and and being able to do what he wants, which he thought he was going to have. He wants a uh, some fairly quick um, opportunity for advancement, and he wanted to have a relationship with the president. So when he started, all of those things were in his favor, right? Mm -hmm. So what what caused what were the root causes that moved those things from a favorable position to where they're at now. And and are they on Jamie or are they on Cadulo or both? Like what what has caused them to be where they're at? I think it comes down to communication and uh, they stop communicating as well. And because um, when one is first, let's see, what does it say? Like Cardulo is introducing him to um, the MOI. Yeah, MOI. And Yo, he's whatever. saying that he's looking for a young manager to take his place and eventually, you know, be the president of that of MOI. And um, Cardulo said something like in the next twelve to eighteen months. Well, with Jamie, he's in his previous jobs, he's climbed the ranks really fast. And I think because there's starts to be this uh, rift between them, you know, Jamie's thinking more five to eight months to take over, but Cardulo's still stuck on the 12 to 18 months. 
And to me, that's kind of how it seemed is like Jamie's getting impatient. And um, so he's seeing like the rage and stuff come out Cardulo more because he isn't um, like following along with the plan that they would agree to. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what I got out of it. So did something change that made Jamie think that he could receive a higher position earlier? I'm lost. <laughs> yeah, let's see. It's, uh... I mean, Cardulo well, clearly, from the beginning, he, he had high hopes for him. And when he... Mm -hmm. When uh, Jamie was introduced to the CEO, right, of the Triple S or whatever it is, mm -hmm. he mentioned that, oh, so you're the guy that walks on water, right? So obviously, Cordulo was was telling him very good things about Jamie. Yeah. Um, at some point, things changed. Well, um, and it even says that uh, Jamie thought that he knew more about MLI just with his conversation with Pardulo. It seemed like Pardulo didn't have as strong of a grasp on what exactly was going on with the company as he should have. And then the other thing that kind of made me feel like um, what I had talked about, let's see, what was it? Oh yeah, um, so his initial contacts with the cell force um, found that people were responsive to his ideas and they could rely on him, on Turner. So I feel like that kind of relationship and uh, knowing that uh, he knows that he has a better relationship with people than Cardulo did, I think that's what kind of get him hot-headed, I guess. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it better. Yeah. I, I feel like just reading it, the it started going sour when Jamie was, uh, I guess, disputing about the pricing plans. So he was put in charge of pricing, right? Except for from the get-go, he was told to swing uh, large order pricing uh, over to Cardulo which he didn't. There was that one instance where he priced a, a, a large order lower than uh, Cardulo thought that he should. And then Cardulo put in the pricing guidance of a flat rate across all items, which he didn't agree with. And he expressed concern kind of publicly about that. My personal opinion, just from the sounds of it, I mean, we don't know all the details of their company, right? It honestly sounds like Jamie was, was pricing things better that was still agreed upon. Like those were the terms that, that he was going to take large orders to Cardulo and so on and so forth. It seems like that was kind of what started things down. Um, and he, he started to be able to salvage them a little bit on the trip to San Diego when they were coming back. He, it had mentioned that he had discussed um, having Cardulo uh, be out of the office and be working out of San Diego and Cardulo seemed to agree and so It seemed like there was a point where they could have turned things around and could have salvaged things, but it just it went back down well, I think a lot of, oh, go ahead. I was just gonna say it just seemed like, I mean, Cordulo, he, he's, I mean, he, he may be kind of hard to deal with. He has kind of that brash management type where he just kind of says exactly what he's thinking. He's, he doesn't care. He's listening. Um, but it, it seemed like Jamie just kind of picked fight after fight with Cordulo. And there comes a time when, and I could be totally wrong here, but when you're with your superior, if they say something and you have a really, really, really good reason to say or disagree with them and you have good reason backing it up and everything like that, you present it. But it seemed like Jamie was just kind of like picking fights like at randomly. I mean, like, like Cordula wanted to send Tim Kelly to, uh, uh, to Kansas city one day a week. And Jamie was like, no, we shouldn't do that. It's bad, bad idea, bad idea. And Cordula was like, 
okay, but I want him there one day a week to kind of help out. There's some problems going on there. And Jamie's like, oh, but this doesn't make sense. And it was like, he's picking a fight. And it's like, Jamie, why are you picking a fight on this, dude? Mm -hmm. Like, why? Just let your boss do that. And then at the end, Cordillo actually had to say, I'm still the president of this company. Yeah. And it's one of those things where it's like, you know, like I'm over here saying, you know, Jamie, you got to pick your fights. You got to, you got to choose what you actually want to fight with. And then the other thing you just got to be okay with, like, how does it really affect you if your boss wants to send one of the, one of the guys to uh, Kansas city one day a week? Who cares? Who cares if he, I mean, if that's what the boss wants and it's not really going to cause many problems, sometimes you just got to let it happen. I don't know. Although on the flip side with that, uh, going off of that, like with Cardulo, you know, it, there's a couple of lines says like he abruptly left, slamming the door and didn't return. Like that doesn't really seem like a, something a company president should be saying an example with. And then also with the Kelly situation, um, he said he doesn't care what he does. He just wants him in Kansas City. He's been always doing is sitting on his butt. So to me, it seemed like he's just pulling the president card and he doesn't care what people do as long as he's in charge. So just on the yeah, flip side. That, that could be true. I think with Kelly, though, I don't think, I think he was saying that not because he actually meant it, but he was basically saying, I have a good reason for this and stop mm -hmm. freaking out about it. Like, I don't think he actually was like, oh, I just want to send Kelly there to sit on his butt. What he was saying was, I don't like what he's saying is, this in my mind is what we need to do. This is going to help the best. And he's basically saying, you know, regardless of what you say, I'm saying he needs to be there, even if he sits on his butt. Yeah. I don't think he was he was playing the president. He was playing the, yeah. I would like to do this. I am the president. This to me seems like a better idea. We're having problems in, problems in Kansas City, and this is where I need him. And uh, so I don't know, but I think you're right. I mean, I definitely think that Cordula needs to change things. I mean. You can't you can't walk out of meetings. You can't yell at people in front of all the other employees too, you know. But we can we as you know, Jamie's the one who can control his own life. Yeah, he can't he can't control what Cordula is doing. So, what's what's resolute resolution in your eyes? Like, is this situation going to resolve? What should um, Jamie do at this point? including should he quit like what what are his options and what do you guys think the best option is i don't think he can quit i think quitting is a pretty hasty decision um on his end it's been what six months isn't yeah, that it's six months yeah six months this is your first i don't know i guess you could say trial to where you're trying to get past you know some employees things like that um what I, I think he needs to just sit down with Cardillo and talk to him in a way that, like, he's not getting frustrated. Because um, I, I feel like the conversation he's leaning towards is like, very frustrated. I'm coming to you because I'm angry and I want to resolve this. And if you don't have an answer for me right now, I'm quitting. And I think you need to kind of turn that attitude around of, like, I just need to present something to him. The reason I'm presenting it to you is because of this, this, this. <clears throat> like this, these basis is, you know, if he doesn't want somebody in Kansas, well, you better show financially how this is hurting the company or show whatever situation and just, or just talk to him and say, look, Hey, I've had the chance to talk with some of the other guys and this just seems to be ineffective. Um, and, and I think one of the things that, Turner has to, do, he has to ask Cardulo, hey, what can I do to help this situation? How can I be a, a little bit more effective? And kind of take that role too, instead of just saying, hey, how are you going to change yourself so that everything gets better? So I agree. What happens if they have that conversation and Jamie does a really good job, keeps his cool, is really articulate, and it just doesn't work out? Cardulo is done at this point, and there's no salvaging it. I think at that point you have to go above Cardulo because if he's not going to respond and you're coming to him being tactful and showing him all the, di <laughs> all the different things, then he needs, he needs to go above Cardulo. 
and present himself at that point. Anyone else have any thoughts? Well, that's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> no, this definitely was a tough uh, case study for sure. But I, I was just thinking, no, I didn't Amy and Cardulo have an actual decent chat on a plane ride or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but it was a little yeah. while back, and it was things had kind of gotten a little bit worse since then. Yeah. Well, and it sounded to me like the things they talked about, like Cardulo seemed um, interested and like sounded like things were going to change, but then didn't actually follow through with what they talked about. You know, so I think you no, know, they could um, just like Pete was saying, like they could have a decent conversation, but maybe not the one that actually changed from having that so you know Oliver's arriving and yeah maybe Turner does just talk with Big Boss and uh, I don't know maybe they would be able to tell the that there's an issue going on and honestly I think Cardito stretched him he's president over two areas and um, I don't know not being able to give your full attention uh, to one specific job. Like, I can't imagine being a president of a company, but I would think in my mind that I wouldn't want to just have my time split. Like, I want to give all my attention to one thing. So, I don't know, maybe they'd be able to notice that. So, my, uh, my opinion, I, I agree. I, I agree there. Everything's really complex here. So I think that you should have a conversation and hopefully it goes well, right? Hopefully Cardulo, you know, there's a reason he's president, right? He, he's probably not an idiot all the time. You know, he, he can probably sit down and talk with someone with a level head and, and they can kind of work things out in the event that they don't. I don't know that I agree with the, the prospect of going above him. Uh, that certainly is an option. Uh, I, I think at that point, I would almost advise to say, hey, these are the three things that I came here for and, and things just aren't, aren't working out. And I'm, I'm certainly not an advocate for quitting things just because they're hard. But I think at that point, you, you might want to say, hey, I, I just don't think things are going to work. Um, can we make a, a plan to, to have me depart and, and put together a plan so that he can try to at least exit on good terms and try to set them up for success and paint the picture that I'm doing this for the good of the company. I don't think that that me being here is going to help the, the company get to where it needs to be. Um, but again, that's only if the conversation doesn't go well, in my opinion. Hopefully the conversation goes well. I think too, it's, Jackson said it was that communication is key in this. I think there was just a breakdown from the get-go. There was no very clear expectation, a lot of too much autonomy at the beginning. And I think right there, and the fact that uh, Cardulo is split between two companies, he just doesn't have the, the time resource to give to helping a new person who's not necessarily all that familiar with the, the company to, to rise him up to a very prestigious position. And so I think if they would, if he would just take the time to, <clears throat> he would take the time to, you know, if you can just pretty much list out the things that he needs, put a set date to which he needs it by. And, and it's just, if I don't get this, I don't know if I can be of any use to this company because I cannot, I cannot function as whatever a VP of this company and I don't have access to my president to help me to direct and I need these questions answered. And I think, I think I hate to say guilt, but guilt him into, Hey, you hired me. I'm trying my best now to rectify the problems that may have come from my being overzealous, whatever, but I need some clear expectations and boundaries because I want to know where I can do. 
but I also need you to trust me that I'm doing what is best for the company because that's why you hired me because if you want me to be the president, eventually I'm going to make these decisions whether you like it or not. And I think he just needs to bring it all right back. You're the one who hired me and I want to make this work. But if it doesn't, it's like what you said, Patrick, let's make an exit strategy because it, none of, it's going to be a lose-lose if we both keep on going down this route. I'm going to get frustrated and you're going to get frustrated and we both are the CEO of the company is not going to like both of our performances. So let's, let's either we fix it or let me walk out graciously. Any other thoughts? I don't know. I, I just think he needs to give it some more time. If it doesn't go well, I don't know if he needs to go talk to the CEO or if he can just try to work things out with his peers to begin with. I mean, they say it takes you between six and 12 months to actually get used to a new job. And so it's hard, you know, I mean, he's just getting used to the atmosphere. He's getting used to it. So I would say even, you know, if he's very tactful, it's all good. There's no way if he's tactful, it's going to go horribly. Like, Cordillo, I mean, he's not going to, like, lose his mind and yell at him. He might just say, no, I don't think those are good ideas. I don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. Right? And then he, I think, I think at that point you say, okay, well, I'm going to try to do the best with the situation I can. I'm going to give myself another three or six months. And if I still feel like it's not working out, then I go talk to him. I think he's a little hasty after six months to go say, hey, here are my demands. And if I don't get these, I'm probably going to quit. You know, even if it's tactful, it's not smart for his own personal life. Because the company's not going to want to hire a guy that's been in three different jobs in three years. I don't know. So I think it's I think it's one of those. You just got to give it a little bit more time. Got to try your best, work it out, try to get along with your peers, and and then if it still isn't working, then quit. Yeah, I think we all agree. He has to have a really good conversation. The tough thing is, who knows how that'll go and what the what the outcome is going to be. Um, you know, it would depend on what happens there of, of what his strategy is after that. Um, any other comments, thoughts? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Well, thank you for all joining. Is this our last one? This is our last one, right? Yes, it is. I think we technically, though, in I was just looking at next week, you know, we have to turn in our accountability project, right? Mm -hmm. And I thought it said, if I was reading it right, that we had to present those to our group. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, it, I, if you guys just want to double check, we can email and see if we need to get back on next week. I think mm -hmm. we might need to each present our, like, our project, how it went. Okay. Or, like, I mean, you know, like, how our goals went and stuff like that I to each other. Re, I thought it was we presented it to one person, but I could be wrong. I, I don't remember. Mm, let's see. I, I really want to know everything about like how you're exercising and <laughs> whatever you guys are doing. Did you want me to flex for you too? I could do that. Yeah, yeah. Could you please? Mm. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll email. If we need to meet again, then we'll meet. We'll look at the the instructions. Um, if we and we'll talk about who wants to be in charge via email. Okay. I can do it since you know. Final. Yeah. So so I'm just reading the the purpose. It says through this assignment, you will prepare to present your accounting account, accountability project experience to your group. Oh, okay. As well okay. as for my documentation for your instructor to grade your project. Okay. I think probably for now. I think let's just plan on meeting. Next yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, we just meeting that we can choose not to if need be. Yeah. Okay. Next Wednesday, four fifteen. Joe, you got it. You said. I got it. I'll take okay. care. All Thanks, right. Guys. Thanks, All right. gentlemen. Thanks, everyone. All right. Take a seat. Bye. 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 Thanks. Bye.